Yes, it happened. Grog is now finally fully open source. Like Elon announced last week, they will open source Grog and they put out this tweet on Sunday. Now, if you click the link in the bio now, you can download and use Grog. It's a base model, so it's not fine-tuned. And you can also have a look at the code on GitHub. XAI also put out their own blog post and my god is my screen dusty. <laughs> anyway, it's completely open source. You can get the code on GitHub. You have an Apache 2 license and it is without any or without much restrictions. I still fully believe that this is just a marketing play by Elon and the whole court case and stuff just a way to gain a little bit an edge and get ahead or catch up to a competitor, OpenAI. But still, you have to give this man credit for completely open sourcing Grog. That is just absolutely amazing. And if you look at all the other companies, they also are saying that open source development communities are probably the way into the future when it comes to AI. This is something that Microsoft, for example, has stated multiple times, as well as Google. That has been a lot of talk so far. And yeah, there are a few open source models, some of them also quite big, but Grog really is another number in this game, with the biggest open source model yet. As VentureBeat states in an article on the AI news, the move which Elon Musk had previously proclaimed would happen this week now enables any other entrepreneur, programmer, company or individual to take Grog's weights, the strengths of connections between the model's artificial neurons or software modules that allow the model to make decisions and accept inputs and provide outputs in the form of text and other associated documentations and use a copy of the model for whatever they'd like, including for commercial applications. I am not a developer, I am not a coder, I cannot do anything with it, but still, this is absolutely fantastic. Grog being the largest open source LLM yet, and I'm very excited to see what developers all around the world will build with it. Of course, I have to mention blockchain here and the decentralization of AI, because I think, in my opinion, this is just the absolute best way to go about it. And for me, blockchain and AI are basically made for each other. SingularityNet also made a blog post following this announcement of the Grog release. Let's have a brief look into that. Now, as you can see, I'm talking about this post here, Beyond Open Source, the need for decentralized AI infrastructure. And I'll also leave a link to that in the description down below. The key to unlocking a more inclusive and innovative future for AI lies not just in open sourcing AI models, but in fundamentally rethinking the way AI infrastructures develop, deployed, and govern. And I think this is a very important point. Of course, I love that it's open source and it's much better than everything we are having right now with the centralized entities controlling all of it. But having AI on a decentralized blockchain gives also a better element of security, not being controlled by anyone, but being controlled by, by all of us, by everyone. And of course, on top of that, enabling everyone to participate. Now, maybe I'm just a little bit naive here, and maybe also my technical understanding is not good enough, but the way I see it, decentralized AI on a blockchain is the best, most open, and also most secure way to go about all of it. What do you think about the whole topic? Let me know down in the comments below. In saying all of that, I still believe open sourcing Grog was absolutely amazing, a fantastic play. And I'm excited to see, first of all, what is going to be developed as a result of that, and also what other companies are maybe feel like they need to follow and also open source their models. Let's see. And since I've already talked about SingularityNet, over there you can find a video where I extensively talk about Hyperon, which is their approach to developing an AGI decentralized on a blockchain. Not with the approach of an LLM, but with an innovative new approach that can combine any other approach to AGI. So I highly suggest you check that out.